7 in the morning right now. Of course, we are still in California. It is beautiful out. You see that hill behind me? I want to climb that hill. It's a beautiful morning. I like walking places. I hope all you guys are having a great day. Let me know how you're doing down in the comment section below. Let me know what you're up to today. Did you have a basketball game? Did you have a math test? Did you have a birthday party? Let me know down in the comment section below because I'm always interested to hear what you guys are doing. And as always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button because it does go a long way in helping out the channel. So the goal for today, I need to try and figure out how to get some triple white Yeezys. This is a lot steeper than it looks. And I'm wearing flip flops. Oh my goodness. This is really steep. I feel like if I fell down this, this would be really bad. Guys, I made it. Whew. The last 200 feet was a lot steeper than I thought it was. And I'm wearing flip flops. Oh my goodness. It is beautiful up here. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Wow. Don't go hiking in flip flops, guys. This just looks like a regular hill. It's really steep. Like, if I fell down this, I would probably... Oh, why? Wow. That's actually scary looking down this. I don't want to fall. Considering I stopped to film with the drone a whole bunch, without the drone filming, it probably only took me 35 minutes to get up here, and in flip-flops, probably, like, I could do this in 25 minutes if I was wearing real running shoes. I'm just excited for today in general. We're going to Shoe Palace headquarters. I'm on top of this beautiful hill. It's only 8 in the morning right now, and I still have like all day to do whatever I want. The Celtics are playing today, and they're going to close out their first round series against Chicago. It is just a good day. You guys might be wondering, like, why do I really want... Oh, what's up, bro? What's the big draw, the big allure to the all-white Yeezy 350s? Like, it's just an all-white shoe. Ray Ray, are you a hype beast? First off flames like it's just all white I like the way the Yeezy looks I don't think it's worth like the $600 that they're inevitably gonna go for second they're actually extremely comfortable if you've ever worn a pair of Yeezys I find them very comfortable I find them more comfortable in the ultra boost simply because they offer more support on the midsole because there's a rubber cage around the boost third though I want these all whites and I want them really bad because they are like the consolation prize for me not being able to get the zebras now I do spend a lot of money on shoes as you guys know but I'm not the type of dude that's gonna spend $1,500 on a pair of zebras, at least not right now, we'll see. But that being said, it is time to head over to Shoe Palace headquarters. I have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am a little bit excited. Guys, we made it over to Shoe Palace headquarters and Look at this, this is, I wanna work at Shoe Palace. Like if I'm gonna work at a sneaker company, they have their own basketball court. How cool is this? And it's like the awesome rubber court. So like if it rains, it dries off quick and you don't slip and kill yourself. We haven't even checked out the inside of the whole Shoe Palace headquarters, but this is, I love it. This is like uh, some of the collaborations worked on. Like it's us Monopoly and Shoe Palace. So we are inside of the Shoe Palace. Is this the online warehouse? All right, online warehouse. This is, wow. I thought I had too many shoes in my room. This is insane. Just shoes on shoes on Vans, Adidas, Timberland, Nike, New Balance. Look at, look at the amount of shoes. Do you have any idea like how many units are in here at once? So this area, I think you're probably gonna want to see, but I can't let you film in this. Okay. So you know how you guys go on a sneaker website and there's like the infinite white background behind every single pair of shoes and it just makes it look amazing? Oh wow, that Puma is like the biggest shoe I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of, okay, here's my hand, here is the shoe. You know what they say about big feet, right? Hard to make shoes for them. Anyway, as I was saying, right there is where all those pictures are taken of like the infinite white background. Put a pair of shoes up there and bam, there they are. So what we looked at was the online sales warehouse. I guess this is all the shoes. This is, the, this is where all the shoes to the actual like brick and mortar shoe palace locations go. It's locked up right now because like someone's having a wedding and everyone's off work or something like that. But look, like this is crazy. Like you know in Indiana Jones when they have that giant warehouse with all those big wooden things? This is like at least seven times the size. Of the, wow, that is a lot of shoes. Oh guys, you know how I feel about Jordan 1s. They have 
like just a wall of gold and silver. Do you know how much I would wear these things if they existed and weren't just spray painted pairs of shoes? Gold and silver Jordan 1s on Jordan 1s on Jordan 1s. It goes all the way up to the roof, all the way. That is amazing. That's a good idea, I think. Quick little stop back at the hotel room. I just need to say how amazing that was to get to go to the Shoe Palace headquarters. Big thank you to Chris and the guys over at Shoe Palace for inviting me out there. Like, I think it was such an amazing experience because I think for myself, like a lot of people, it's like your dream as a kid to be able to work at a sneaker store or like when I was a teenager and just getting into shoes. I'm like, how cool would this be to work at a brand like Foot Locker? and do the advertising or do the social media management or push online sale or whatever the case may be. I thought that would be an amazing job and actually getting to see the office where people do that was crazy. And they gave me a whole bunch of dope stuff I'm gonna show you. First, they gave me the Shoe Palace yearbook and this has a whole bunch of just amazing pictures and little blurbs and information about Shoe Palace and what they are as a brand. It's really amazing, it's hardcover, it looks, it looks beautiful inside. I'm gonna have to give that a read. They also gave me this little tote bag that uh, is a Jason Mark bag, which is pretty cool. They gave me a Shoe Palace lanyard. They gave me a Shoe Palace hat. They gave me some another lanyard. This one's like a Bay Area lanyard. They gave me socks. They actually hooked it up with two more magazines, not one, but two. Uh, these things are awesome. These were actually made by the guy that gave me the tour. And then Shoe Palace actually did a collaboration with the game, like the board game Monopoly a couple months ago, I guess. So they had some Monopoly stuff laying around. So they gave me a Monopoly hat and another Monopoly hat and they gave me some more socks and they gave me some more socks and they gave me a Jason Mark thing, which is really cool. I've never had Jason Mark in my life before. Okay, I'm taking this off. I, I, I look like an idiot. And then the coolest thing that they gave me is, you know how I said it was my goal to get the Yeezy 350s, the triple whites? Well, actually, they gave me a pair of New Balance. No, <laughs> it, it's a nice pair of shoes. Like, and all jokes aside, this is a cool pair of shoes. So this is a collaboration they did with Shoe Palace, and they had a little artist on the insole and the art that they have this guy do on the insole I'm not sure who the artist is but his art is actually all around Shoe Palace campus so, so that was pretty cool I'm not sure what New Balance model this is it is the M530 SPA this is my first pair of New Balance I have ever owned in my entire life so it's pretty cool to have a pair of New Balance thank you to Shoe Palace and the guys over there for hooking your boy up with these. It's like suede and patent leather blacked out with that blue bottom I think this is a pretty clean look uh, I'm excited to try New Balance. I know like some people it's not for them and I completely understand that, but for me I'm open to trying new brands. I've never purchased a pair of New Balance sneakers, so now I get to try it out, let you guys know what I think about them. The stuff they had at this store, oh my goodness, the stuff that they had in this warehouse. They, they told me to turn the camera off because they had a whole bunch of stuff that they were shipping to their Miami store, they're doing a grand opening. Let's just say Yeezy and Jumpman jumped over release date, like by like years. Like there was Jordans from three years ago, there was Yeezys from who knows how long ago, like what the heck, there was Yeezys from years ago, like Adidas Yeezys that came out over a year ago just chilling. Jordan brand sneakers that came out three, four years ago just chilling. Like hyped up releases. We're not talking boring GRs. They're just sitting on the stock shelves. They're waiting to be shipped out to new stores. made it to this mall, it's called the Great Mall. Why is it called the Great Mall, you may ask? Because it's a great mall. There's a Nike factory store, there's yeah. a Foot Locker, there's... This is Red oh, cool. Hey. Red Ribbon, bro. I know you guys. Well, then I guess... What the heck? Uh, what's up? Yeah. Do you guys uh, just randomly come to this mall too? Yeah. 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 Wow. Sitting, sitting, sitting. These, these released a while ago, didn't they? Bull said these are GS, I'm not really sure. What does the size like say? GS. I think it's a small size. US eight and a half. No, it's eight and a half. Oh, well then maybe they have men. Yo. I don't know what that is. But. I'm gonna ask if they have... Oh shit. These are fire. This is a size eight and a half. So like maybe they have more men's sizes. That's weird. Wow, what the heck? My man D-Money, you guys all know him from Tony's What Would Tony Do? Yeah. But what you might not know is I got my own this channel, fine man. gentleman right here, he's got his own channel. It's Champ Sports, it's like... Same as every other mall in the world. After you go to 50 million sneaker stores all over the states, you begin to realize that you like those? Anyway, what I'm saying is like they got nice sneakers, but it just gets, ooh, these are nice. It's very repetitive. All the sneaker stores have basically the same thing. Fragments. Fragments sitting at chic shoes, not clickbait, gone wrong in the hood. You won't believe what happened, gone sexual. Check out the bargain bin, five bucks, and inside 
They got authentic Yeezy season merch. No, this is totally a rip off. This is, uh, I don't know what brand it is. I can tell you it's not Adidas. They got like the gross fake Yeezy print on. This is, Tony, these are real, right? Oh, Harrison, do you see what I see? Oh my goodness, starting off strong. No, no, disregard that, kids. Look at this. True Blue Threes at the outlet. Sorry, man, no, video. no filming? Oh, that's really, that was a short video. Brandon, they said we can't film in the outlet. They said that? Yeah. Are they bugged on you? I'm gonna be stealthy with this. They bugged on you? I'm still filming a video, man. Oh, it's are happening. They bugging for real? Yeah. What? They got really mad at me. Damn. Oh, wow, check it. 70 bucks for these, that's insane. That's such a good price for these. I think it's 30% off too. Did you get a video in here? Yeah. How'd you get a video in here before we got kicked out for filming? Because I move in, I start filming. I don't That's start stealthy. I give props people. to you. I don't hang around you guys. Well, we were gonna film in the Nike outlet. I was gonna do a dedicated video to the Nike outlet. Not filming in the Nike outlet anymore. That's for the goal of today's video. We wanted to try and secure some all white Yeezys. I think I have a couple things lined up for SneakerCon. Hopefully. A couple people said they're gonna give me a good price that are gonna be there. Said they won some raffles, they're gonna be reselling a sneaker con. I had a chance to see them at Shoe Palace. We were talking about the amazing stuff that I saw at Shoe Palace. Those were a couple of the amazing things. I saw the all white Yeezys that are coming out tomorrow, which would have been today by the time you see this video. They're nice. Best believe me, they are nice. They had just boxes on boxes on boxes. Like, we think they're so limited. They're really not that limited. They had so many pairs of them, and they are beautiful. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate every single one of you watching. I'm going to catch you tomorrow at SneakerCon. It's going to be a long day, so we're going to have to end it here. Until next time, I love you guys, and peace.